The following program has been brought to you by Sammy Joseph Ministries. And now for a continuation of his message, let's join Reverend Sammy. Peter looked, uh, he, he said to him, look on us. And I guess this guy said, hey, 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 guy, who, who you, what's up, what are you, what are you talking about? Uh, he, he gave him a command, said, look on us. And, and the guy looked like, oh, dumb, dumb, look on us, money, help me, I can't help myself, I'm dumb, I'm lame, I am stuck, I can't help myself. And Peter says, look on us, look on us. Listen, when you want to rot miracles or do miracles, you have to be decisive. You gotta say in your heart today, I have this mountain to climb, we're gonna rot it out together. And then he says to him, look on us. Look at verse five. And he gave heed unto them. I love that next word, expecting. Most of people's expectations are shifted, are warped, are curved, are wrong. Not right expectations. He's expecting to do what? to receive something of them. That which he wanted to receive of them, expectation to receive of them, was not a healing. Before this time, we hadn't found nobody who could heal like Jesus healed, who could deliver like Jesus delivered, who could make poor people become rich like Jesus makes poor people become rich, who could perform miracles like Jesus Christ make, made miracles to happen in his time. Never had been such a man that did miracles like this and thank God, ever, always, will be more people like Christ that will be able to do miracles, that will be able to perform the word of God like you and myself. Isn't it wonderful that God in Christ has given power to men, ordinary men, ordinary women, ordinary men, ordinary women, uneducated men, unqualified men and women, uh, people who had been to jail, who had been to prison, God can get them out today and still use them. People who had no qualification whatsoever, like you and myself. Isn't it wonderful? Glory to God in the highest. He says, look on us, look on us. But this guy was expecting to receive silver and gold from them. <laughs> Look at verse 6. And then Peter said, silver and gold I have none. <laughs> but what I have give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> as I'm singing that song, something is happening. You know it right away. If something has begun to happen in your life, you felt, you felt some heat right here on this part of your body, like I'm feeling right now on your neck, this right hand side of your neck, I don't know who that is, but you feel some strength, some, some warmness on this right side back of your lobe of your ear. Begin to touch it right now and decree healing in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're hearing this voice right now and something is beginning to happen, you'll feel some stirring in your muscles, in your bones, in your legs. Ah, what I have give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk, walking and leaping and praising the Lord, walking and leaping and praising the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> I'm getting excited right now. Something is happening. Listen, look under the screen right now where my address is. If something is happening to you right now, give me a call right away. Write me on the email, write me on Twitter, write me on Facebook, write me on YouTube. Tell me what God is doing in your life to the glory of God the Father, the glory of the exalted, ever exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says at the name, at the name, mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess to the glory of God the Father that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
I don't have any of this since you accelerate to give to you. But in the name, that's what you'd also use. You use the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We're talking about practical, demonstrable, a gift today. It's not just you're going to be able to do miracles. You're going to be able to work it out. That's what I said. By the Holy Spirit. You, 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 you will work it out. You will begin to work it out today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am feeling strong sensation right over me right now. In fact, I'm sweating now as I'm preaching this word to you. I know that virtue power is going out of me by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will use the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because that's the name that, that gave the devil a, a TKO, knocked him out, and he, he couldn't come up again and forevermore. And we have that power in the name of Jesus Christ that the young can use that name, the old can use that name, black people can use that name, African can use that name, African American can use that name, Japanese can use, everybody in the whole world can use the name of Jesus Christ. And you know what? It's a free name, free for all, to use, whoever shall come and accept the name of Jesus Christ shall be saved, the word of God says. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Uh, you will expect, you and I will expect that that guy eventually rose up and walked. Oh no, I told you, this is a classical example whereby you have to work out the miracle, you gotta work it out. It's a, it's a demonstrative power. It's a demonstrable power of the Holy Spirit. Some people's faith do not carry their faith. Some, I'm, I'm sorry, some people's faith do not carry their miracles. So what do you do in that, in that case? You help them. You help them. You prop them up by the power of God to help them to be able to achieve their faith. When the apostle Peter told him, gave a word of command in the name of Jesus, some of the people will rise up as they heard the name of Jesus. Not this case. I told you this is a classical case in Acts chapter 3. The guy just kept on looking. In the name of Jesus, rise up. Do. Name of Jesus, rise up, I say. No. See what happens if that happened to you. Don't you ever say, well, I use the name of Jesus Christ. He didn't happen, that name don't work. No, 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 no. That's what the devil wants you to believe. When you use that name, and it seems as if it's not gonna work, see what Peter did, and that's what you ought to do. We are talking today about the power to work out miracles. You're gonna to have to work it out, see what happens, and this is the crux of the matter as I bring this message to a close. Verse seven, read it with me if you go your Bible. And Peter jerked him by the hand, by the right hand. He took him by the right hand, lifted him up, and Im I love the next word, immediately, immediately. Now, not until the man of God, the servant of God, Apostle Peter, jerked him by the hand. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, I wish I had a dolly right here, to, right here to, to demonstrate to you to hook him up by the hand, pull him up. Not until the man of God hooked him by the hand and pulled him up, did we see a miracle happen in that man's life. He took him up by the right hand, lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength, verse eight, and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And everyone, all the people saw him and walking and praising God. Today, I prophesy to you that you rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up right now from that bed and begin to exercise your ankles. We're talking about the power of miracles to do miracles. We have to demonstrate this together by the word of faith, the word of faith which we preach. You begin to do things that you couldn't do before. Today, I prophesy to you that your ankle bones begin to receive strength. Your elbows begin to receive strength your neck begin to be able to turn again. Your eye begin to receive strength to be able to see that corrective defect is being fixed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That the astig astigmatism begin to be fixed by the power of the Holy Spirit. I prophesy to you today. I begin to ask you, begin to rise up. Begin to rise up in the name of Jesus and begin to walk and many shall see 
and glorify God with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do you receive these words? Let's give glory and honor to whom all power and all glory is due. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you this day for healing your people, the men and the women that you've sent to hear these words today. I ask this day, you receive all the glory and all the honor and let these miracles that you've wrought tonight or this day, wherever they are in the world watching this, let these miracles be prominent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Satan, we rebuke you. You will not be able to bring a disease, an infirmity, a breakdown, a lockdown, a hedge in on God's people never again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Listen, if you have not come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, it's my best job. It's my calling to lead you by the hand. I'm not going to jerk you up right now because this, this involves your will. You're going to have to be able to use your will now to be able to say, yes, I've heard the word of God. I am ready in the name of Jesus to receive Christ into my heart. Look at me. I'm breaking sweat right now. The first time this has happened in the history of, of, of recording this program. I see great power, great power great unction left me tonight. Listen, under this great anointing of the Holy Spirit, you need to receive Jesus into your heart. You, you don't, listen, don't wait till tomorrow. Oh, I'll wait until I'm, don't wait till tomorrow. I'll wait till I'm 50. Oh no, come on. Don't do that. That's foolishness. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, he says, harden not your heart as in the days of provocation. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ today into your heart. What do you have to do? A, B, C, D. A, accept your sinner. B, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be saved, the Bible says in Romans 10. And C, confess with your mouth. You have to, you got to say that. You see a girl you love to marry. You got to say, baby, how are you doing? I just like you. Well, you got to say it first. You don't like you. She got to say, I don't like you. But you know what? Jesus is waiting. He says, behold, I wait at the door. I knock. If you open your heart, your door, your heart to me and say, Jesus, come in. I'm going to rush in. But he ain't going to rush in if you don't invite him in. So invite the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart today. And then D, you got to depend upon the power of the Holy Spirit to see you through all your days. Is that what you want to do right now? I'm still breaking sweat. Come on. I feel the power of God and I'm not going to wipe it up. I've got a hanky right now, but I'm not going to even use it. It's wonderful what God is doing through this program. You want to receive Jesus in your life. I say these words with me right now after me. I'm going to be slow. You say them. Repeat these words with faith in your heart. The Bible says if we believe and then we confess with our mouth, you believe with the heart, you confess with your mouth say, you will be saved. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. I have come short of the glory of God. Forgive my sins today. Wash me by the blood of Christ. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life, now and forevermore. <laughs> glory to God in the highest. You're saved. That's how all it takes. Are you going to pay in an oven? You're paying an oven. Salvation is free. It's free of church. Now, all you're going to do is you're just going to have to find a Bible-believing church, you know, uh, join up with them and fellowship with them. If you're here in Birmingham, in Northfield, in England, uh, I, I want you to, to join up with Harvest Ways uh, International Church right here on Lay Hill in Birmingham, in England, or write me to the addresses that you see on the screen. It's Reverend Sammy at harvestways.org. Or you can call the numbers you see on the screen. It's plus four four if you're outside of UKK. Um, UKK? <laughs> outside of UK? It's plus four four seven seven five eight one nine five four six six. Or you can also text her 078 5467 5159. Until I come your way next time, stay close to God. Stay healed in all of your ways. And the glory of God shall be yours in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. To become saved, follow the ABCD steps of salvation today. A, accept you're a sinner. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. C, 
confess Jesus as Lord and Savior over your life with your own mouth. And D, depend on the power of the Holy Spirit to live the new life in Christ. Pray this short prayer with me. Heavenly Father, please forgive my sins today. Come into my heart and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, we want to assure you that you're forgiven and have become a child of God. Write Reverend Sammy Joseph today. He would love to hear from you. May God richly bless you. Amen.